All right, guys, I want to talk to you about how to cut with scissors. I know it seems simple, but I, I just noticed that students really struggle with um, with this activity or with this, this skill set in terms of getting like a smooth edge. So what I want you to do is I want you to take your piece of paper. I want you to fold it in half hamburger style. So you take your paper that's landscape or horizontal, fold it down the middle. Woot. And now I want you to cut out an organic shape. But when you do that, I want you to pay attention to where the paper meets this apex of the scissors. So as I'm holding my scissors, I do a smooth cut and then I. So I want my paper to be at the apex of the scissors a majority of the time, okay? I move the paper to meet the scissors. I don't move the scissors to meet the paper. I move the paper to meet the scissors, okay? And now I have my little symmetrical organic shape. All right, I'm gonna do another one. Bring the apex to meet the paper. And now I have a cutout. I can place it on this yellow and I have a fun um, background play there. But what I see students do that is kind of problematic a lot is they do this. And that gives you this really funky edge, which sometimes works out. But for the most part, it just looks sloppy and uh, unconsidered. So I really want you to bring the paper to meet the apex of your scissors. And that's just gonna help you create more in like smooth um, and attractive line sets. And it's, it's just gonna look better. And I also just showed you how you can make duplicates, which you can easily just flip. Um, when you cut out your, your shapes. So think about layering. Remember you're bringing your paper to meet the apex of the scissors, not pushing the scissors along. And it's just gonna look better. Oop, check out, check it out. All right.